Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The 2020 F1 Grand Prix is just around the corner and many teams have released the official cars. Since it is a season of F1, we decided to make a video regarding them. In a car, the front brakes are much bigger than the rear brakes. This is due to the reason that during braking, the front wheels of the vehicle experience more force than the rear brakes due to inertia. F1 cars experience this too, but there's another reason why the brakes of an F1 car are smaller. This is to make space for a component called the MGUK. MGUK abbreviates to Motor Generator Unit Kinetic. The MGUK is a part of the braking system of the rear wheels and is connected to the crankshaft of the engine. In conventional braking systems, the kinetic energy of the car is converted to heat energy due to friction. Because of this, a lot of the energy is being wasted. In order to utilize this wasted energy, F1 cars use a different type of braking system called KERS. KERS stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System. The MGUK is a part of the KERS. The KERS is used to convert the kinetic energy of the vehicle into electric energy during braking. This is how the KERS system looks in an F1 car. Looks pretty complicated, right? Don't worry, we'll simplify it for you. Now, here, this block diagram should be easier to understand. When the driver of the car applies the brakes, the MG unit is engaged to the rear wheel and acts as a generator. This drains the kinetic energy of the car due to generator resistance and converts it into electrical energy. If you're not sure how an electrical generator works, we'll be making a dedicated video on that. So stay tuned. The generator converts the kinetic energy into AC current. But there's a problem here. Batteries can store only DC current. To solve this, a PCU or a power conversion unit is installed to convert the AC electricity into DC and be stored in the battery. When the driver activates the curse button from the steering wheel, the reverse occurs. DC current from the battery is drained and converted to AC current at the PCU. This is used to drive the MG unit as a motor. This gives a small boost to the total power output of the car for the duration of activation. Unlike DRS, KERS can be used once per lap in any place on the track. But there are certain limitations to the amount of energy that can be reused. The maximum power in or out of any KERS must not exceed 60 kilowatt and a maximum of only 70 horsepower can be added to the engine because of the KERS. The maximum duration for which KERS can be used is 6.67 seconds and energy can only be recovered during deceleration. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.